Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to print angstrom numbers in a given range. So we have already seen two programs on angstrom numbers. So one is to check whether the entered number is prime number or not in a normal way. And we also learned how to check whether the entered number is angstrom number or not using a function. So now what we are going to do is we want to learn, we are going to learn the program using which we can print angstrom numbers in a given range. That is, if we enter the value, if user wants to print the angstrom numbers between this range 1 and 400, so we will take two values from the user, first number A and second number B, and we will be printing the values, the angstrom numbers like which are in this range. So 1 is an angstrom number because 1 cube is equal to the same number. 153 is also an angstrom number. So 1 cube plus 5 cube plus 3 cube, which is 153. So let's take for example, so 1 cube is 1, 5 cube is 5, 5 is 25, and uh, 25, 5 is 125. So, and then we have 3, 3 is 9, 9, 3 is 27. So you can see here, so the value is 1 and 3, 5, so 153. So, so these are the numbers that are, these are the answer numbers that are in this range. So we are going to write program for doing this. So let's get started and let's, and as usual, you can type the code in any editor of your choice. And I'm going to open the previous program that we have written. That is program number 13. I'm going to open that program. And this is the program that we have written. And I'm going to modify this. So in this case, we have written um, one variable. We're reading it number. So now I'm going to modify this. The purpose of this program is to print Amstron numbers, to print Amstron numbers in a given range. So in, in a, given range, right? So uh, between A and B. Now let's see this. So I'm going to write here, um, uh, so instead of one variable, I'm going to declare A comma B and uh, now read the data from user. So enter the first number, enter first number and I'm going to store it to ampersand A and then I'm going to ask user to enter the second number, printf enter second number and and now I'm going to scan F I'm going to store it into ampersand B so we are storing into the second number now what we need to do is we need to write a for loop we need to write loop starting from A up to B and we have to check with every number whether it's a prime or not it's very simple so I'm going to delete this I'm going to remove this and we need to use another variable I for looping purpose for, for looping and I'm going to write here for i is equal to 1 so i is equal to a starting from a i less than or equal to b we need to check till b i plus plus and we need to check every number if if e is Armstrong number of of i if that value is i we need to print f print f person d and I'm just going to give spaces comma i that's it so, so now we are going to write this logic now and I'm going to delete this. Okay, so that's it. We are done with this logic. Now let's say this, I'm going to run this and let's say if it works, I'm going to execute this program. Now I'm going to write here, enter first number. I'm going to write here a uh, one. I'm going to write second number as 400, you can see here. So these are the angstrom numbers that are present in this range. So let's enter some big value. I'm going to execute once again, and I want to check the range for angstrom numbers one, and I want to check between one and, let's take um, let's take this big value. So we have only these are the angstrom numbers that are present in this range of numbers, right? And hope you're clear, and uh, thank you, and if you want the code uh, for this, every program, I'm documenting it in a format in this document. So I'm going to save it in a PDF format by using this format, save as. In Microsoft Word, we have an option called save as PDF and I'm going to save it. And now I will be sending this PDF. Now let's say this, I'm going to show you the PDF file, how it looks like. So you can see here, so almost all the programs we have in PDF format. So feel free to, uh, so you will have a link in YouTube where if you see my YouTube channel, let's take for example, this is the YouTube channel 
and when you click on a video let's take you're going to click on the previous program that I just uploaded and here you can click on this um, understanding technology so you can you can click on this uh, show more and you will see a link here so if you open the link and uh, if you fill your details I will be mailing you the ebook for this email ID uh, this ebook that you have seen here with all the programs starting from program 1 program 2 program 3 all the programs I will be sending this for you right so thanks for watching and uh, do subscribe for more videos and also feel free to add your comments in the comment section thank you and have a great day